The psalmist had a real problem. He couldn't sleep at night thinking about the way God seemed to have abandoned him and his people. In verse 5, I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. Uh, sometimes when we can't sleep at night, uh, we have uh, a problem and thoughts go, troubling thoughts go through our mind about why is God permitting so and so or why is God permitting this situation or this disaster take, to take place. The psalmist made a turn when later on in the psalm uh, he's allowed to ask these really difficult questions. And it's really amazing that we can ask God these, these pointed questions. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he, in anger, uh, withheld his compassion? We're allowed to ask God amazingly pointed questions. And then the psalmist turns to reflect upon what God has done in the past. And it puts everything in perspective. Remember, remember, remember. And the psalm uh, then goes into talking about the way God uh, created the universe and the way he uh, ordered the nature and uh, natural world and things like that. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is so great is our God. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. And so to remember is very important for us. Uh, unstated, the implied answer to all these questions is that uh, God has done these great things and he certainly has the power uh, to do them in the present too. And we just need to trust. God has been faithful to his people in the past. Um, the Exodus event was huge when uh, basically a, a multitude of slaves came out of Egypt and had to face down an army and God fought for them miraculously. In America, uh, in 1776, America seeking independence from Great Britain. Great Britain was the most military equipped country on the planet at that time. And they wore the red coats as an intimidation factor to scare off the enemies who would break um, ranks and run. They had immense sailing ships, heavily armed. And at different points, they would capture cities like Boston and New York and even Philadelphia, the three largest cities of the United, or of the colonies at that time. Uh, America was clearly the underdog, but yet God allowed uh, really a miracle to take place in the independence of the United States of America. We also don't want to miss God's rule over creation as well. God has power over everything he created. And sometimes we act like God isn't powerful enough to be in control of the world. And I don't think that we or Christians really intend to deny God the glory and all like that and the power and the honor. But when we live like God can't do anything or he won't do anything or um, he doesn't care, then Christians are living kind of as practical atheists, almost like, well, it's all up to us and I'm just going to worry and worry and worry about all this and lose sleep at night. Psalmist and scripture helps us to remember that God is on the throne and he's in charge. In your personal history too, you can look back um, in your journals or in your photo albums or in your memory and remember the way that God has done wonderful things in the past. So there's this um, three layers, you know, on the uh, cosmic world side and then you zoom into our country and then or even our family, and then zoom into our personal history. And we remember, we remember, we remember. And then in the night when we can't sleep, instead of worrying, then we're praising the Lord for all that he has done and will do. God bless you. Have a great weekend as you trust in the Lord.